All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And what do I get to say? One of the favorite sentences, I think it's a sentence, of the week. Happy Friday. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had an amazing week. I hope you packed in a lot of learning, but I hope you are ready to have a great Friday, a couple days to relax, you know, just spend two or three hours a day on Footsteps of Brilliance on Saturday and Sunday. You know, no big deal. Oh, you're right. You're right. Sorry. Not two to three hours. Four hours? I'm just kidding. Genuinely. Hey, take a rest. You've worked hard this week. Uh, if you haven't figured it out, which you probably haven't, uh, maybe you know, maybe you don't know, I am in Mr. JB's kindergarten classroom. Oh, and I see Miss Rodriguez walking by. Is she, is she coming to stop by? No. She must have went to go to see Miss Ramos' room. All right, so a couple things I want to point out. Look what we have in Mr. JB's room. We've got some Avengers that are saying, boy, I wish we had some kindergarten students to play with us today. Unfortunately, you'll have to play with your own Avengers at home, but maybe someday soon, maybe January, not tomorrow, right, Miss, right, right, Miss Julie in the office? Not tomorrow, not Monday. We're not coming back yet, but maybe January. I will keep you posted. I promise. Okay. And there was one other area. Oh, let me run over to the pumpkins. Let's look at some of the pumpkins that Mr. JB's kindergarten students turned in. Right. Look at them. All right. And as you take a look, like uh, Miss Davalos's class yesterday, we were talking about which uh, which picture in my office I painted. There was one. We can play a game of if Mr. Rivas was a kindergarten student. Which pumpkin would he have probably colored and drawn? Uh, in kindergarten, it probably would have been this one. That's probably the one that I would have done. Uh-oh, uh somebody's calling Mr. JB, and he stepped out of the room so I could do this announcement with my mask off. All right, let's get to the real stuff. Today is pink out day. So if you're wearing pink, Awesome. If you don't, and maybe your teacher can give you permission to go run and change real quick into something pink, or maybe a pink hat, pink scarf, uh, pink, uh, I don't know, something, socks. Uh, but today is pink out day all over, and maybe Anais over in the YMCA is wearing her pink today. She's going to be working hard today and doing the best that she can. Man, Mr. JB, somebody is really wanting to get a hold of you. They keep calling back. They may, I don't know. Who knows? All right. Uh, let's see. A lot of Footsteps are Brilliant stuff. Remember, today is the last day of round two of the Footsteps of Brilliance contest. Uh, it goes until midnight tonight. I am not endorsing you being up until midnight doing Footsteps of Brilliance, but you know, if you really want to learn or read and do the stories and all those. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, but it goes through midnight and I will announce the winners. I probably won't announce the winner until your Tuesday. It'll be my Monday, but you probably won't hear the winners until your Tuesday. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Footsteps of brilliance. I feel like there's something else I want to say. Oh, I want to send a shout out to Miss Soto and Miss Davalos' class. Remember, they are the fourth grade teachers here at Sunny Slope. Footsteps of Brilliance for fourth grade students is not mandatory, but there are a few students that are logging in and helping me out. Between the two classes, 44,000 words, which I know when you're thinking about Miss Rodriguez on that side of the wall that's read over a million words, right? 44,000 you might not think is that much, but hey, they're logging in. They're doing some reading. Why not, right? So I appreciate it. So you uh, fourth grade students that are helping out, helping out the uh, Sunny Slope word count, I appreciate it. Genuinely, 44,000 words is better than no words, right? Uh, remember, fourth through sixth grade, your AR word count contest starts on Monday, October 26th. It'll last for three weeks. It'll go through November 13th. And Footsteps of Brilliance, we will start our round three. So keep on reading. And also, I've been meaning to show you these for three days now. These are the Footsteps to Brilliance wristbands that we ordered that teachers will be passing out over the next couple weeks, maybe on packet pickup days, uh, maybe when you pick up uh, work or maybe when you return work. Uh, we have one for everybody in TK through third grade. Sorry, fourth to sixth grade. We'll come up with something for you. We ordered some other wristbands for other ones that we think are funny uh, that you might enjoy, but those are not out yet. But yes, TK to third, here are your wristbands. Teachers, uh, they are in the office, so if you're by pick up how many, however many you need from Miss Christy or Miss Julie. They have them ready and waiting for you. There's that, there's that, there's that. All right, and today's joke. We got Halloween coming up next, next Saturday, so let's do a Halloween joke or a ghost joke. Where do ghosts 
go on vacation. Where do ghosts go on vacation? I'll give you a second to think about it as I come over here to where you would be, TK, sorry, Kinder, where you would be right now for morning announcements on the carpet. And Mr. JB, he usually actually had like a little chair that he would sit on. That was not the chair that he would sit on. All right, where do ghosts go on vacation? You ready? They go to the Boo Hamas. They go to the Boo Hamas. They go to the Bahamas. It's a popular vacation spot. All right, and today's fun fact, the giant squid has the largest eyes in the world. The giant squid has the largest eyes in the world. And that surprised me because I was thinking about the blue whale. I was thinking about elephants. Uh, I was thinking about ostriches. But nope, if, you have, if you've ever laid in bed at night, not able to sleep and thinking to yourself, what animal has the biggest eyes in the world? Well, now you know. You're welcome. All right. Uh, other than that, that is it. That's everything that I've written down on my paper. Remember, winners for Footsteps of Brilliance, round two, will be announced on your Tuesday, my Monday. I'm going to give you one last look, Mr. JB's class, of where you would be if we were in school today. So until I get to see you in person, or maybe in a virtual classroom, I'm going to leave you with these words, and I'm going to end this rotation at the flag because remember, don't forget your flag salute. I said the flag salute with uh, Ms. Hernandez's class yesterday. It was pretty neat. I liked it. I really enjoyed it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, remember these words. Every day, all day, that I believe in you. Mr. JB, as he, he was sitting in that chair, and all of the teachers, they all believe in you. And we know that together we could do, like the Hulk, Hulk Hogan, anything. Ladies and gentlemen, be amazing, stay amazing, work hard, because one day you're going to be back in these seats and you're going to wish, actually you're going to want to be a great reader, great at solving math problems, and a great writer. Is distance learning hard? Absolutely. But the more you put into it now, the more it's going to pay off later. I promise. All right. Have a great day. Thank you for those that already have your cameras on. You're awesome.